Uh, hello everyone. Welcome to Understanding Calculus, Part One: Limits. Now, I don't, you know, fucking. You might be wondering, Owen, why are you making a video about math and limits and stuff? Well, you know what I say? F fuck you. I want to teach math when I'm older, so why not, you know, do it here on YouTube first? Now, I'm not gonna go too in depth. You, you really just need limits to understand the concept of like derivatives, which I'll be getting into next. So I'm just gonna go over the basics of limits. Um, you know, you learn more about that in like pre-calculus and shit. I'm just talking talk about calculus, but this is the first thing you really need to know about calculus. But anyway, so a limit is basically a destination that a function is heading towards. So let's think about, you know, this little, this little fat boy. He wants to go to McDonald's, so he's heading towards McDonald's. But you know, a function has two sides, like next to a point. So we have this McDonald's, and we have two little boys going towards the McDonald's. And then let's say these two boys are the function. Oh shit, my, my Alexa's playing music, sorry. So let's, so these two little boys are heading towards McDonald's, right? So, you know, you'd say that the McDonald's is the limit of the function. That's the destination where these two little boys are both heading towards. So both sides are heading towards the same direction. So let's look at this little function here. It's just a random function that I came up with. Now, if you see, both, if you go... It, both sides of the X, which is the x-axis, the little horizontal one, if you head towards 1, x equals 1, on both sides, you'll see that the y value, which is the function, is heading towards 1. So you'd say the limit as x goes towards 1 equals 1. Now, what if, you know, this little boy was going to McDonald's and he was sadly abducted by a pedophile? Now, he never really made it to McDonald's. Or, you know, if he was going to if he was going to McDonald's and the McDonald's somehow blew up, you know, he never made it to McDonald's. But if a police officer came up to you and asked you where the little boy was heading or you know, what used to be there, you'd say, oh, he was heading towards McDonald's. So it's still, you know, he's still going to McDonald's, the limit is still McDonald's. So let's see what I mean by that if we look at a function. So I have a function here, it's a uh, 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 over x plus 1, so it's a rational function. A rational function means, you know, you have two different functions divided you know, together, blah, 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 who cares. If I zoom in at one specific point, you see it looks it looks pretty much like it goes on, like it just, you know, it's continuous. But if I hover over this, and I go to that, if I go to the x point 1 and see what the function equals at 1, it says it's undefined. Now, what, what the fuck does undefined mean? I don't fucking know. Well, actually, I do know. I'm going to tell you what undefined means. Undefined basically means it's, you know, divided by zero. And you know you can't divide by zero. But what, what, what the... What? what? What does that mean? What do you mean it's divided by zero? Well, if I, you know, if you plug in negative one to the function, it comes out zero over zero. Now, that's a special kind of, um, of divided by zero. If it's to zero divided by zero, then you can do something else to the function but I'm gonna, I'll go over that later, but whatever. So, if you, if you look, both sides of the function are still heading towards that, that, the negative one. It's still heading towards it. 
even though it's not there, it's, it's still heading towards it, kind of like the kids, you know, going towards the McDonald's and getting kidnapped. They were still heading towards the McDonald's, even though that they never got there. So you'd still say that the limit as x equals, as x approaches negative 1 of that function equals negative 1. Because both sides were still heading towards that de destination, even though that they never arrived to it. Now, let's go over the, some of the different ways to solve limits. Now, again, you don't really need to know how to solve limits to understand calculus. You just need to know what a limit is, which I already explained. But, you know, why not just go over what the fuck, how to do it. So the first, first way to do it would be to plug and chug, which is just like, you know, you plug the x in and see what comes out. So if I have, you know, the limit as x approaches 3 of x squared plus 2, all you gotta do is just plug 3 into x squared plus 2 and you get 11. So the limit as x approaches 3 of x squared plus 2 equals 11. It's not that, you know, it's pretty easy. Most limits are not gonna be like that if you're on a test. Most limits are not gonna be like that. They're gonna be way more complex, you know, functions that you need to figure out what the fuck to do. Um, the second way is to factor. So, I talked about that earlier. So let's bring back the function x 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 over x plus 1. Now, again, if you plug in 0, you'll get 0 over 0. That's undefined. But, if you factor just the top part, Usually you can factor both parts, but as you see the bottom part, it doesn't really need to be factored. If you pa if you factor the top part, you get something, you get two binomials multiplied to each other. Now, I'm not going to go too far in how to factor, you should already know how to factor if you're learning how to do calculus. Um, but basically, you can either use the whole fucking x squared, uh, x equals b squared, plus minus, no, negative b squared, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a, blah, blah, blah. Um, but easier way in this case is to just like the different factoring. I'm going to use the slip and slide method, where basically you take the the first coefficient, you multiply it by the, the last term, you then find out what two numbers would multiply, would add to 3 and multiply to 2, and then you'd, you know, You'd make the two binomials, blah blah blah. blah. Uh, you bring back the two, and then you divide it, and you slip it. Blah, blah, blah. You should know this from algebra, whatever. Who cares? So we now have factorized version of x two x squared plus three x plus one, which is x plus one times two x plus one. So if we bring it back and divide that by x plus 1, we can see that we can cancel out the two x plus 1s, and our function equals 2x plus 1. And then we can now plug in the negative 1. And so if you say, if you plug in negative 1 to 2x plus 1, you'll get negative 1, which is why the limit of that function equals negative 1. And then the third way to do it, it's, it probably has no solution. Um, if you get if you get something other than zero over zero, then it probably just does not have a a, a solution. So if we have something like one over x, and we find a limit as x approaches zero of one over x, you get one over zero. Now. So plug and chug doesn't work, you can't factor because there's nothing to factor. So it, it doesn't exist, and if you look at the function, I have the function here graphed, uh, yeah, you can see, yeah, it does not exist. Each side just goes off to infinity, and especially they both go into different infinities. Now, what that means is that on the left side you see it's going down to negative infinity, and on the right side it's going up to positive infinity. Now. If they're both going down to negative infinity, you can say, oh, well, the limit is negative infinity. Or if they're both going up to positive infinity, you can say, oh, well, the limit is positive infinity. But infinity isn't a, an answer, so you just say it's undefined. So the answer is undefined. And honestly, uh, that's enough that you need to know about limits to understand calculus. 
because uh, you really just need to know the idea of it to understand derivatives, which will be in the next episode. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comment and I will answer. I love you. Goodbye.